Hello and welcome to another FIFA 23 Women's World Cup match simulation. This time it's Sweden versus Italy. And both these teams, whether you're following along the real life uh, World Cup or you're following the series on this channel, both these teams won their opening match. So, big game here. The winner basically goes through to the knockout stage and is definitely top of the group. The loser, back into the fray, honestly. And a draw doesn't really do either team many favours. So, lots to play for here as we uh, hear the silent national anthems. There's uh, the Italian silent national anthem. <laughs> okay, off we go. Time to shake some hands and see some teams. 4-2-3-1, I think, is a formation. It's either unique to Sweden or there's just one other team playing it. It's uh, quite a quite an unusual formation, for sure. But it's working for them. And there's Black Stenius or Black Stenius or Black Stenius or Black Stenius or I don't know. Tell me in the comments how that is said. Sivu play. There's the team photo for Sweden. And here come Italy to uh, get their team photo taken. And they line up in the ever popular 4-3-3 formation. Looking to uh, prove why it's such a popular formation. And they had a. If, if you're following along on, on FIFA scores, from what I remember, they had quite the wild encounter with Argentina in their first game. Let's see if this produces more of the same. And Sweden weren't exactly devoid of goal scoring either in their match. So, yeah, this should be interesting. Anyway, Italy, I believe, kicked off. I don't know. I was checking past scores. Uh, <laughs> but I think Italy kicked off because they have the ball. And it's unusual for a team to be dispossessed this early in the half. So I'm going to say Italy kicked off. Oh, there we go. Right on cue. Commentators curse and all that. But, yeah, Italy kicked off. Now Sweden have the ball. First opportunity, potentially. No. Good, strong defending there. And now Italy trying to break away. But getting uh, slowed down by good Swedish defending. Pulls it back. What's she going to do? Squares it. And a good save. And it doesn't even go out of play. Ideal situation there. Falls to a Swedish player. Italy, look at the high press though, pressing in the penalty area. And it's paid off for them, here we go. Got another chance, but no. Dispossessed by Sweden, who are now going to try and attack down their left. And now playing the ball through the middle. Here's Black Stenius, oh, going for the long shot. And it was uh, blocked successfully by the Italian defender. Now... Good defensive play by Sweden. Can they build a better goal scoring opportunity than they've had so far? I thought Black Stenius was going all the way by herself then. She may well still score. Oh, was that over the line? It's been given, it seems. Ooh, want to see the replay of that? I think it was. But it's certainly worth another look, isn't it? Not often you see a goal where the ball isn't still in the net afterwards. Absolute. Yep, we're getting a replay of it. And uh, yep, it's completely over the line. As you can see right there. Beautiful technology. Okay, yep, we get we get it. Look at that. You didn't even need to pause it. It went so much further over the line. <laughs> like you could have just let that play. What, we don't even get to see the shot because we had to analyze whether it was over the line. Show us a replay. It was a absolute like mollywop of a shot. Oh, she tried a really fancy turn there. If that had come off, that would have been magnificent. Okay, uh, I think the free kick's been given Italy's way here. Really not sure, though. No, it's been given to Sweden. 
kind of looked 50-50 to me. Like, I had to guess which way the free kick had been given, but referee was confident, and it's a Swedish free kick. This could be dangerous. Float a ball in, get ahead on it. Nope, going to play it short instead. Going to build it up from the back. Long shot by Blackstenia. She, she's feeling this today, isn't she? She's got her shooting boots on. My goodness. She'll shoot from anywhere. And she scored one of them. <laughs> it was an absolute rocket. And I can't wait to see the replay at half time. Oh! Boom! Another goal for Sweden off the corner. Beautiful corner. Floated in. Headed home by the captain. And we've not seen them play with the camera as a goal celebration in a few videos. Uh, that I can remember. Let's have another look at this. The short corner option was there. It was ignored. And look at that. Between two defenders. Good, solid header. Let's have a look. Should the keeper have done a bit better with this? No, I think by the time she saw that the Swedish player had won the header, it was already kind of too late. And 2-0 to Sweden. Ericsson. She makes good phones. Well, she used to. I'm pretty sure it's not even spelt like that, the phone, but whatever. <laughs> Let me make my bad jokes, guys. Oh, now Sweden are really, really up for this. Like, they are absolutely dominating Italy currently. They're, like, all over the park. They're dispossessing them. They're, they're closing them down aggressively and successfully quite often. Very few actual opportunities coming Italy's way. They've scored two goals. Speaking of opportunities coming Italy's way, though, this could be one. Nice back heel. And again, Sweden deal with it. They are so up for this one. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. Is Jakobsen going to take the shot? No, she. you know what? She stuttered. She hesitated and she really shouldn't have. She should have just blasted that. And that's the final act of the half. We finally get to see that Black Stenius goal again. So, can't wait to see that 2-0 at half time. It's not too late for Italy to turn it around, but they need to turn around the entire performance, to be honest. They've basically been outclassed all over the pitch in this first half. So, they're going to uh, gonna have to do better. So, there's an Italian player. There's a Swedish player. And Italy did indeed kick off. There you go. Com confirmation. Is this it? Is this the Black Stenius goal? I think it might be. Touch. And whammy. I think that might have even deflected off the defender. And the keeper got a touch. And it hit the bar. Nothing could... It hit a defender, a goalkeeper, and a crossbar. Nothing could stop that going in. And here's another one she had a crack at. Good save there. Good strong gloves to that. And, uh, this is the second goal, I believe, from that corner. So Black Stenny has been very influential. Scored one. Another shot earned a corner that led to the goal. Like, she's up for this. Let's go. So Sweden to kick off now. Now attacking right to left. And can they continue this momentum? To be honest, unless Italy do something really drastic here, it is Sweden are basically through this group now. Like, it would take some sort of minor miracle, which Sweden wouldn't consider a miracle, for Sweden to not go into the knockout stages here. Ooh! Italy having a go, though. Good save by the Swedish keeper. But we've seen how dangerous corners can be, at least for Sweden. Let's see what Italy can produce from a corner. Signaling what the what the uh, training ground play is going to be. And uh, I believe the foul has been given against the Italian player. Maybe a bit of climbing or something. So now that Sweden have kept hold of the ball, no foul is going to be given. Can Sweden build something from the back here? Jakobsen going down the, uh, the right wing into Blackstenius. Oh, look at that through ball. No! Why did you not shoot? What in tarnation was that? Oh, my God. 
Like, look, I'm not supporting Sweden in this one. Like, that, I would shout at anyone for that. What was that decision? And Italian corner. And we're going to get a yellow card for a Swedish player from that foul that we saw where the advantage was played just a short while ago. What are you complaining about? She's literally been booked. Yeah, that foul. That one right there. It's definitely not a red card offence to that Italian player. Greggy comes off. And on comes that lady whose name I missed. Good job we get told twice, eh? Oh, no. No, we don't because Rubinson's yellow card is being confirmed instead. Look at this playing keepy uppy with the ball here in the penalty box. Oh, we do get it. Giacinti, I'm going to guess that says. Anyway, no matter what that says, Italy are attacking down the right wing. They, they need a goal in in short order here so they can get a second one at some point. Ooh. Like a draw doesn't suit anyone particularly well, but Italy will take one right now, I'm sure. Sweden, however, have other ideas. That said, I will say, apart from that one opportunity, I can't believe she didn't shoot. I'd say Italy have had the better of the second half. They've come out swinging. But Sweden are... Uh, are covering up well, absorbing the shots. Oh, that's a good ball down the down the right wing. Italy actually have a best, better passing accuracy and a lot more passes played than Sweden. But Sweden have been just like so clinical, so cerebral with the the making the most of the opportunities. That's why I'm surprised she didn't shoot. Angle Dahl. Or Angel Dahl, but probably Angle Dahl comes off. And Sega, Sega, comes on. Dreamcast. Oh, that was a misplaced pass if ever I saw one. Now Italy are going to try and break away. They need a goal here and then a minor miracle, honestly, to get anything out of this game. But they need a goal here. That was a great ball. But dispossessed. But I think she used a hand for it. Yeah. I thought that at first glance. And it's been given. So, Black Stenia's coming off now. Save her for the uh, the knockout stages. Or maybe even the next match. But yeah, no point in risking an injury in this last few minutes. Hertig comes on. Floats the cross in from the free kick. There's the goal that Italy were after. And uh, Bartoli comes off for Lenzini for Italy, by the way. At the same time as that... Blackstenny is sub, but it's so much to call. Why are they celebrating? Get the ball and get it kicked off. You need another one. It's a lovely goal. Just very simple. Chips it in. Bosh. Not, not it in. Just like the uh, Swedish corner in the first half. Very simple. To the point. Very effective. Now. Can Italy do something miraculous with the last three minutes of normal time plus whatever injury time is added on. I'm going to say probably not. Sweden just have to play keep ball here. And yeah, turns back. Look at this. They, they know what they're doing. They know exactly what they're doing. They deserve this win, to be perfectly fair. They would be hard done to if they, they didn't get all three points from this match. And that's it. Full time? Yep. She tried, she launched it forward, but too little, too late. And Sweden get a well-deserved victory. I'm surprised the scoreline is as low as it was. Not just for Sweden, it was quite an open game in general. Anyway, leave a like if you enjoyed uh, this match and, uh, and the video in general. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and you want to see more. And share with your friends if you think they would enjoy. But for now, all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Ibeza. You've been amazing. And I'll see you next time.